Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you are facing the 100% disk usage in Windows 10, so this video is for you guys. I will show you step by step how to troubleshoot the issue in Windows 10 dedicatedly. So let's start the process. So step number one is you need to go to the control panel and make sure guys you need to follow this video till end and apply all the setting one by one okay so once you go to here go to the large icons so once you go to the large icons here we need to go to the power adopters power options and once we go to the power options you need to go to this option which says create a power plan if you have already have the high performance power plan that select that option if you don't have it create power plan and just name it high performance click on next and from here select the whatever you like click on create so once you have created this uh, we have created this as a high performance and you will see the brightness is increasing on your system but this will enhance the power performance but will boost the system performance and will reduce the disk utilization on your windows 10 computer so this is the first setting now let's move on to the next step next step we need to disable some services from the windows simply open the services and run run them as admin okay now first number service is connected user telemetry service press C on your keyboard and look for this service uh, you can read more about the services this service is basically sending the feedback data to the Microsoft store as well as in the Microsoft servers so we have already disabled that as you can see here I have already disabled that but how to disable them go to its properties select the disabled and if it is running just stop it click on apply and click on ok and make sure the status is not running and the startup type is disabled so this is the service number one now let's move on to the this service also connected device platform services double click on it and also disable the service stop it there is no need of the service on your system as well now let's move on to the next service next service is print spooler press P on your keyboard this one if you use the printer inside your system and in your network so you don't need to disable this but if you use if you don't use the printer so you can disable the printer the services for printer so you can disable it if you don't use the printer if you use the printer do not disable the service so this is the service number two now let's move on to the service number three is sysmain press S on your keyboard this one this you used to have the super fetch but this time you will see the sysmain okay just disable it this is basically required this guess the windows that what you are going to use inside our system like most of the cases it pre launch the app from the memory its memory and the loads the faster of any web browser or whenever you search on your windows it loads it faster so you can disable it also now let's move on to the fourth service fourth service is guys xbox related services if you don't use the xbox on your system the gaming press s on your keyboard and disable all the service here which i have already done that you can see here one two three four five services once you have disabled all the services here just close this and let's move on to the next step step number three is to disable the startup apps open the task manager go to startup as you can see here I have already disabled all the apps only leaving the windows security enabled and rest of them you can disable disabling them doesn't mean that those application will not run on your system these application will run perfectly on your system so let's say I want to use this app 
I can use it so you can see here so by disabling them all app will run normally but you can disable them as you can see here I have already disabled the Wondershare studio okay so this is the service number three guys let's move on to the service number four service number four is you need to make sure that window is up to date if sometime window is not updated there is some bug on our system so make sure you check for update here and also delete all the temporary file on your system like open the run command from here okay and type the percentage temp percentage and hit ok delete all the select control A and delete them after that press windows plus R type the temp okay select all delete all I am not deleting them since the video will be distorted okay disable them and also clean MGR hit ok here okay S click on this option clean up system files and once you click on the system cleanup files here guys again select the C drive and from this point of view oh, let it diagnose the PC here so until it's running now let's open the CMD and we can check the any hard drive issues we have inside our system simply hit yes option when the prompt opens now type at the command chkdsk and hit enter so this command will basically check your hard drive and ssd health if you found any bad sector inside your hard drive so that is clear you have to replace your hard drive in this case so this command is for checking the hard drive health you can see here guys windows clean up all you can delete like this temporary files recycle bin so this will take some time guys so basically after once it is run completely 100% it will show you the result and if you found any bad sector inside your hard drive that that case you have to replace your hard drive if nothing works on your PC guys then you have to go ahead and reset your PC or reinstall fresh windows if still you have issue guys then in this case you have to upgrade for SSD so I hope guys after applying these methods your issue is fixed if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching